Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome to any new viewers. This is a reading for Virgo, my beautiful Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Virgo, this is all about how your person is currently feeling about you. So if there's a specific person you have in mind, you're wondering what their deeper thoughts and feelings are, whether or not they are in line with their actual um, you know, actions towards you, what their next moves are going to be, how they view you, what they like, what they don't like about the connection or potential connection. Um... If that is what interests you, then please keep on watching. And if you enjoy the reading, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Oh my goodness. Look at these <laughs> cards coming out. This is pretty amazing. Also, feel, oh, wow. All right. Also, feel free to um, uh, look at your other placements. All the sign. Oh gosh, guys, look at the bottom of the deck. Wow. This is by far one of the most amazing re readings I've done. Um in this series okay uh yeah feel free to check out your other placements also the sign of the person you're interested in if um you know what that is wowzers look at this reading look at the amazing um cards or it's just taking a moment to kind of take it all in i'm gonna start from the beginning and just and just work my way through here uh but this is this is quite beautiful actually okay Four of Pentacles. Now, this is how you're coming across to your person, Virgo. And I have to say, they're seeing you as a little bit closed off. Um, they're seeing you as a little bit kind of aloof, maybe a bit standoffish. Um, you know, this person is guarding the pentacle over their kind of heart space, which means that it's possible you have a little bit of a wall up or you're not wanting to open up too soon, too quickly. You're very concerned about your stability. You could be concerned potentially about getting hurt. Maybe you've come out of a situation where um, you were hurt in the past. You just don't want that to happen again. So you're just maintaining a little bit of a wall up just to protect yourself. You're not completely wearing your heart on your sleeve. You could also be coming across as very, very focused on money at the moment, on working hard, on your finances, on literally your financial stability, your savings. And this person um, is realizing that you are taking that very seriously at the moment. So um, very, very uh, stable yet slightly closed off sort of energy that you're giving off at the moment, or at least that's how you're coming across to this specific person when i look at this person when i look at how they're coming across when i look at their deeper feelings we have these two happy tens right we've got the ten of cups we have the ten of pentacles it doesn't really get much better than this when we're thinking about the potential the future potential where this relationship can go because we not only have this Ten of Pentacles, which is about long-term, secure, um, strong family, intergenerational wealth, building a super solid foundation for your you know, life and future generations. And we've got the Ten of Cups, which is also emotional fulfillment, complete happiness. It's like happiness tick, money tick. Um... So that's why it really doesn't get much better than these two tens. Um, if we have each on their own, it can sometimes be like something is missing, right? Because when we have the Ten of Pentacles on it on its own, it suggests that, you know, yeah, we, we're feeling comfortable. We have a lot of money. We've built a solid foundation. We're living in a very nice house, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but, you know, do we still have that feeling of love, that feeling of like a romantic kind of connection? With the Ten of Cups, there it is. With the Ten of Cups on its own, you think, okay, this is real happiness, but perhaps not um, with a lot of money. You know, we don't necessarily need money or a lot of money to be happy, but it is quite nice to have. So this is like both uh, things are, are there. So obviously you may not be yet and i there yet with this person i don't think i don't think that you are um based on this on the rest of this reading but this is the potential that this connection has and certainly this is what your person is feeling now with the ace of cups this is why i'm thinking this is kind of like a new beginning in love this person has um really really uh these deep deep feelings they're wanting to make an offer they're wanting to just wear their heart on their sleeve i don't think they necessarily have yet um but they really really feel 
a very very deep level of of love here i'm just i'm just going to say it this is this is gorgeous um they also want to do things in the right way and i think that they can see that you are not going to um uh, do anything impulsive anytime soon. They understand that you have a very practical way of thinking, um, that you're going to stay very logical, very level-headed in this situation. And so I really think they're going to come to you in the right way. It's going to start off like, you know, how a, a typical or traditional relationship would start off and then it would gradually get more and more intense or more and more serious one step at a time. This person understands that that's what they need to do. Two more amazing major arcana um, have made an appearance in this reading. We have the star, we have the wheel of fortune. The star is really like it's kind of tying this together, right? Because it's making me feel like this person sees you as the one, sees you as like their dream person. Um, you're really like ticking all the boxes for them. It's like you're what they've been wishing for. You're a wish come true. You're a dream come true. No pressure, <laughs> Virgo, but this is, this is how they're feeling. They're also seeing you as like attractive physically. You're just ticking all the boxes for them. You're ticking all the boxes. They can't help but be super excited about this. And then we've got the Wheel of Fortune. They're really hoping that their fortunes turn around. They're also really hoping that you, by some chance, are going to feel the same way for them, right? They really hope so. They really hope that you're going to reciprocate this feeling. They really do. Um... They're feeling like it's destined. Did you two meet in some kind of way that was like destined? I really hope. I'm really hoping that it's not like right person, wrong time. I'm really hoping that they're not feeling like Virgo's already in a relationship or Virgo, Virgo's occupied. And so this is the wrong time. I hope not. Um, that's a possibility. But they're feeling like you had to meet. You had to meet. Um, it was it was predetermined. This is fascinating um, that we now have the King of Swords here as well. Um, air energy, very very mental energy, right? Very someone who thinks very clearly. This person's a hundred percent convinced. They are 100% convinced. It's crazy. I think they've never felt this way about someone before. Really. Um, I think that that is what is making them so clear. They have so much mental clarity. This is not like, you know, this is actually not the type of person who ordinarily falls like head over heels in love very easily, if you get what I'm saying. Um this is someone who thinks very clearly, very logically, very rationally about things. And so for this person to be feeling like this is the person of my dreams, this is in my destiny, this is where my future is heading, this is an opportunity I can't pass up, I need to really do things in the right way. I need to, um, you know, I need to approach um, Virgo correctly. I need to do things properly because I want this long-term commitment. Um, this, yeah, they're, they're going to do things in the, in the right way. But I have never seen a reading <laughs> like this. So... Wow. Wow. Um, obviously, you know, the, the choice is always going to be yours. The decision is always going to be yours. And it will be very interesting to see how this evolves and where it goes. But from the perspective of what this person is feeling, it really feels like they have hit the jackpot <laughs> by meeting you. They, they, they really, um, they really don't feel like they can get any better. Um, they're very, very excited about this. 
I'm going to leave it there, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed that reading. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.